to school, actually a DO school out in California, um, Toro University, and uh, kind of chose osteopathic uh, track on purpose because you get some hands-on manipulation training as well with traditional medical training and I really wanted that aspect of it. So did my schooling out there and then my residency, I did a family practice residency in Ohio um, and a fellowship on top of that for sports medicine and primary care. So I do full practice, every age family practice. And then with sports medicine, my goal on top of that is to kind of keep people active or get them back to activity that they want to be doing. So that can be athletes that are younger, high school age or college age, but also adults that want to be active or have run into something that is a barrier for them. Osteopathic manipulation kind of specifies a DO versus an MD and you still get traditional medical training, um, but you do get this other layer of how does the rest of the body interact with what may be going on physiologically? So how does your posture, your structure, the way your bony alignment affect the way that things can be functioning at their optimum? And then we get trained in hands-on therapy to kind of help correct those things. So I think if you start building a relationship with a doctor, you end up having someone who knows what you've been dealing with and not just on a way that you can relate to them and they can relate to you better but where they actually know the history of like your medical path as well they know what you've tried for certain conditions they know what hasn't worked or what has and what testing maybe has been left out so i think having someone who's following along with all that with you is really important um, and then another role is to just explain things that are not clear so as a patient tons of information can be coming at you and a primary care physician or doctor can be a really helpful way to like ask those questions get clarification <laughs>